Hello and welcome. I'm Connor Doherty, known as Noscase in the GIFGAF community, and I've been with GIFGAF for almost a year. My current handset is an Xperia SP, which I currently use for social networking and gaming. The phone I'm reviewing today is the BlackBerry Q10. Let's see the specs. 3.1 inch 720x720 display, 1.5 GHz dual core, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal storage of a micro SD slot, 8 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera. The design of this phone takes some elements from BlackBerry's previous handset. The phone has a nice weight to it and a sturdy body which makes the phone more durable. The back of the phone has a carbon fibre design to it made out of a soft touch plastic which makes it feel more grip to hold in the hand. The main feature of this phone is the keyboard and I can confidently say it is a pleasure to type on as each key is easily recognised and spaced out to allow for quick and comfortable writing. For previous BlackBerry users you'll be happy to know the Q10 still features the notification light found in older BlackBerry handsets. The Q10 runs the new BlackBerry 10 OS and this OS is gesture based, meaning when closing an app or changing the menu it is all done by using gestures which can take some time to get used to. The home screen is similar to that of most other platforms with large icons spread across different pages so for newcomers to the OS it will be picked up instantly. The App Store on the Q10 features most of the top rated apps found on other platforms, however you are going to be missing out on quite a few apps and games compared to other platforms, so this may be something to consider if large app variety is important to you. For the games that are available, the phone runs them perfectly, and games are surprisingly easy to play on the smaller screen. The battery life of the phone is impressive, as with moderate use I was able to get 2 days battery life out of the phone. If in the future the battery needs replacing, the battery is removable which means new ones can be purchased in the future. Under the battery we found a micro SD slot which supports up to 64 gigs, which allows you to store plenty of photos and videos. Camera quality was impressive, with the 8 megapixel pictures coming out relatively clear, especially those taken in HDR mode. The 1080p video recording is decent but could be better. Phone signal is extremely good with full signal being received a majority of the time and there hasn't been a moment where the signal has dropped. I give the Q10 9 out of 10 as it is well built, easy to use and features the most comfortable QWERTY keyboard available on a phone. If I had to suggest an improvement for the phone, I would improve the gesture optimization as I found myself accidentally closing apps when scrolling on some occasions. That's all from me, feel free to check out the handset reviews on the website.